Hello everyone and welcome to my Friday Facts. This week I'm going to be talking all about one of my favourite ducks, the wood duck. The wood duck is a species of perching duck found in North America. It is one of the most colourful North American waterfowl. It perches and nests in trees or uses elevated nesting boxes. Most other ducks nest on the ground. The adult male has distinctive multicoloured iridescent plumage and bright red eyes with a distinctive white flare down the neck. The female, less colourful, has a white eye ring and a whitish throat. Both adults have crested heads. I saw my first wood duck when I arrived in Canada nearly 10 years ago, and I could hardly believe my eyes. I thought it was a painted decoy or a toy duck. How could this bird even be real? And I personally think the female wood duck is the most beautiful with her less gaudy colouring and subtle rainbow iridescent feathers. She is just the most beautiful bird. The conservation status of the wood duck is of least concern. The population of the wood duck has increased a great deal in the last several years. The increase has been due to the work of many people constructing wood duck boxes and conserving vital habitat for the wood duck to breed. The population of the wood duck was in serious decline in the late 19th century as a result of severe habitat loss and market hunting, both for meat and plumage for the ladies' hat market in Europe. Those beautiful feathers, oh my goodness. By the beginning of the 20th century, wood ducks had virtually disappeared from much of their former range. In response to the Migratory Bird Treaty established in 1916 and the enactment of the Migratory Bird Treaty Act of 1918, wood duck populations began to recover slowly. By ending unregulated hunting and taking measures to protect remaining habitat, wood duck populations began to rebound and the development of the artificial nesting box in the 1930s gave an additional boost to the wood duck production and population. The birds are year-round residents in part of its southern range, but the northern populations migrate south for the winter. They overwinter in the, in the southern United States near the Atlantic coast, but here in Vancouver and along the Pacific Flyway, 75% of the wood ducks are non-migratory. Their breeding habitat is wooded swamps, shallow lakes, marshes and ponds and creeks in the northeastern North America and the west coast of the BC of British Columbia, Canada 
and the United States and Western Mexico. They usually nest in cavities in trees close to the water, although they will take advantage of nesting boxes in wetland locations. Other species may compete with them for the nesting cavities, such as birds of prey, as well as mammals such as grey squirrels. And these animals may also occupy nest boxes meant for the wood ducks. And the wood ducks may end up nesting about a mile away from their water source as a result. Females line their nests with feathers and other soft materials, and the elevation provides some protection from predators. Unlike most other ducks, the wood duck has sharp claws for perching on trees and can, in southern regions, produce two broods in a single season, the only North American duck that can do so. Females typically lay between 7 to 15 white tannish eggs that incubate for an average of 30 days. After hatching, the precocial ducklings climb up to the opening of the nest cavity, jump down from the nest tree and make their way to water. The mother calls them to her, but does not help them in any other way. The day after they hatch, the young climb to the nest entrance and jump to the ground, and the ducklings can swim and find their own food by this time. These birds feed by dabbling or walking on land. Dabbling means to search for food from the surface of the water as opposed to diving underneath the surface to scavenge for food. They eat mainly berries, acorn seeds, but also insects, making them omnivores.
going to read my favourite poem for you. It's called The Peace of Wild Things by Wendell Berry. When despair for the world grows in me and I wake in the night at the least sound and fear of what my life and my children's lives may be, I go and lie down with the wood drake, rest in its beauty on the water and the great heron feeds. I come into the peace of wild things who do not tax their lives with the forethought of grief. I come into the presence of still water and I feel above me the day-blind stars waiting with their light. For a time I rest in the grace of the world and am free. Thank you for watching my video. I hope you enjoyed it. Please like, comment and share and subscribe. Have a great weekend everyone. Stay safe, be kind, please respect wildlife and always try to put nature first.